Many things have changed totally and we will never know exactly the feelings of uh, people who lived 200 years ago or even 100 years ago. We already have trouble understanding our parents most of the time. So in the case of uh, Robert Schumann, the, the composer we are playing uh, this time in the Chopin Festival, we have an enormous amount of diaries and of written uh, statements, uh, letters, more than of any other composer. And in a way that quantity makes it even more obvious how different people were. The whole story of his difficult marriage, the father didn't want to agree. Uh, this is, uh, it is really on one hand a different world and on the other hand of course there is an aspect which is so general that it's about human life and we will probably never be able to to understand fully anybody else, even our closest friends, uh, even ourselves sometimes. But uh, at the same time, of course, the music of certain composers, certain ancient composers, still touches us in a very direct way. So fortunately, music can apparently help us and serve as a link to, to other societies, to other stages of history and to other souls of, uh, of composers. So we can only hope that we, uh, that we catch a glimpse of what was going on uh, inside the, the, the mind, the brain, the, the, the heart, the soul of a composer. Uh, if uh, we are doing a good job, uh, we will never completely know. The story about the Goldberg Variations is, of course, a story which was told much later, 50 years at least after, after Bach's death. And, I mean, you can probably sleep through every kind of music if you are tired enough. Um, I did twice the opening concert of the Bach Festival in Würzburg, uh, sorry, the Mozart Festival in Würzburg, and there is always the minister president of the state of Bavaria, and he was always asleep after 20 seconds, so uh, even he didn't reach the end of the first tutti of a Mozart concerto, and he was so fast asleep that even the applause afterwards didn't wake him up, but his wife had to uh, to do some work with her elbow. So I guess um, if you are tired, you sleep, <laughs> yes. Uh, the story about the Goldberg variations, in my opinion, is sounds very much like a, like a nearly romantic story of 1800, that is when it was first published. There is a true, there is a true uh, grain in it because uh, the diplomat, the amb ambassador of Russia, Count Kaiserling, was in fact a close friend of Johann Sebastian Bach. And it might well have been that Bach did compose these variations for him, and it might also be that the fact that there is no dedication in uh, the work was just due to the fact that at that precise moment in 1742, uh, Mr. Kaiserling had changed position, so Bach wouldn't have known how to address him formally. So uh, if that story about sleepless nights and uh, Goldberg variations is true. We have no, we have no means of, of, of knowing, of course. <laughs>